In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, the Word of God welcomes us this morning. And as we begin this day, let us begin by spending time with the Lord. As we have decided to welcome this day in the presence of the Lord, let us begin by thanking Him for all that He has done for us, all the blessings that He has bestowed on us, and most importantly, for all the graces, for all the favours that He has given us right from our birth till now. On many occasions, we see that because we are caught up with so many other activities, because of our busy schedule, we don't pay attention to these small details that are there in our lives. Very often, these graces, these blessings, which are so important in our lives, are kept aside. And therefore, today, as we begin today's morning prayer, we ask the Lord to give us the grace so that we may be able to appreciate the good things that He has done for us. And therefore, it is appropriate that we begin today's prayer by thanking the Lord for all that He has done for us. First and foremost, we thank the Lord for the gift of life, for giving us talents, abilities and various opportunities in our lives. We also thank the Lord for the gift of our family members, friends, relatives, near and dear ones, and all those who play a very important role in our lives. Now we see that there are so many people who have been instrumental in our lives in so many ways. These people have dedicated their time and effort and thus they have shaped and helped us become who we are. And therefore we thank the Lord for their presence in our lives and we also ask the Lord to bless them so that they may be able to have the fullness of life. We also thank the Lord for the gift of this day. Yet another day that we have been given to make good use of our talents, of our abilities, and more importantly, to make a difference not only in our lives, but also in the lives of those around us. We also thank the Lord for the various opportunities that He has given us. Opportunities to put our talents, to put our abilities to use. And at the same time, opportunities to help others make a difference in their lives. Lord, we also want to thank you for all the experiences that you have given us. Some of these experiences may be really good. We may want to cherish these experiences. But there may be other experiences which may be bitter, which may be harsh. Nonetheless, these bitter experiences may have taught us a lot in life. These are the experiences that have made us stronger. And therefore, Lord, we thank you for giving us these experiences, for making us better individuals, for making us stronger, and thus for preparing us to face the challenges in life. And therefore, my dear friends, as we participate in this morning prayer, let us ask the Lord for this grace that we may be able to radiate His presence to the world around us, that we may be able to become messengers of peace, joy and love, spreading His message of goodness, spreading His message of peace and love to the world around us. And therefore, let us ask the Lord to accompany us in whatever we do today so that every action, every word may radiate His love, peace and joy. My dear friends, let us now reflect and meditate on Psalm 60. As usual, we shall have a general overview of the psalm. We shall, in general, uh, just take a look at what the psalm is exactly trying to tell us. What are the themes that are present in the psalm? 
and then we shall take a look at the psalm in detail looking at each of these themes each of these aspects in detail and when we have an overview or when we look at the psalm at a glance we see that psalm 60 is a psalm of lament that is attributed to David and it is believed to be written during a time of distress and defeat possibly after a military setback now we see that setbacks are very common in life and sometimes it becomes very difficult for us to deal with these setbacks we have planned something things don't go according to plan and therefore we feel disappointed we lose our faith our trust and hope we get disappointed and we are not interested in anything else later on then and possibly in those moments this is a psalm that can help us to collect ourselves to rejuvenate to place our faith and trust in the lord and allow him to bring us out of that situation now we see that the psalm can be divided in four main sections and in verses 1 to 3 we see that there is an acknowledgement of god's rejection and a plea for restoration in the second section we see a reflection of god's past deliverance and a request for his help and this we will find in verses 4 to 8 in verses 9 to 11 we see there is a cry for god's intervention against the enemy and finally in verses 12 to 14 there is a declaration of confidence in god's victory and therefore overall when we take a look at psalm 60 we see that psalm 60 will reflect on david's plea for restoration and victory in the face of distress and defeat and this psalm highlights the importance of seeking god's help and acknowledging his power and deliverance this psalm can also serve as a reminder of the need to depend on god's intervention especially in times of trouble and to trust in the faithfulness of the lord and thus rejoice in the victory that the lord provides us and now let us take a look at the psalm in detail now in the first section of the psalm we see that david acknowledges the sense of god's rejection and he pleads for restoration so in a way here we see that david is probably sensing that he has gone away from the lord and therefore now he wants to restore back he wants to come back to the lord he wants to undo the wrong that he has done and here he begins by expressing his feeling of being rejected and cast off by god once again pretty strong at this point of time and here we see that he does this by symbolizing it or comparing it to the breaching of the walls of the land and therefore here we see that david now recognizes the severity of the situation and therefore he implores god to intervene and restore his favor and protection so he has gone away from the lord and now he wants the lord to help him come back to him and therefore we see that in this section it is all about knowing one's weakness therefore in our lives too when we become aware of our weakness of our shortcomings that is the first step towards transformation it is only once you are aware of what you have done wrong or once you are aware of the areas where you are going away from the lord it is only then can you begin the remedy or the corrective measures moving on to the second section of the psalm we see that david reflects on god's past deliverance and he seeks god's help once again now he recalls how god has given his people a banner a symbol of victory and therefore he asks the lord to do the same now david acknowledges that it is only through god's power and help that victory can be achieved and therefore what does he do he expresses his dependence on god's assistance in the midst of defeat so he already knows that he is deep in trouble but still he has faith that the lord can do something about it and my dear friends this is something that all of us need to have 
we too need to have that confidence that the Lord will do something to help us, to guide us and bring us out from those stressful, difficult moments. Now in the third section, we see that David cries out for God's intervention against his enemy. And therefore he pleads for God to extend his help and to defeat the enemy who has brought devastation and affliction upon them. Now David also will acknowledge the significance of God's intervention and thus he recognizes that his victory is completely dependent on God's action. And therefore this aspect of surrendering, this aspect of placing oneself in the hands of the Lord, allowing the Lord to guide and protect, this is very important and is explicitly seen in this psalm. And therefore in the final section, we see that David declares his confidence in God's victory. He proclaims that God's right hand, symbolizing his strength and power, will lead to triumph and will lead him to victory against his enemies. And therefore we see that David acknowledges that victory will ultimately depend on God. It is God who will do everything for him. And thus he expresses that he himself needs to place his faith and trust in the Lord and that the Lord will act on behalf of him and also on behalf of all the people. And therefore, my dear friends, as we reflect on this psalm, let us spend time in assimilating it. Let the psalm take root in us so that when we are faced in these difficult moments, when we feel that we are deep down in trouble, this psalm can act as a great source of consolation. It can help us to regroup. It can help us to get back on our feet by placing our faith and trust in the Lord. And therefore, my dear friends, as we have reflected and meditated on this psalm, let us now close our eyes at this morning hour and let us thank the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Let us glorify the Lord. Loving Father, you have given us this time in the morning. You have been gracious to us. You have given us your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has cleansed us from our sin. He has taken away all our sins and he has given us a new life. Lord, we thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit. And therefore, Lord, we ask you to bless us and protect us at every step of the way. Be our guiding force. Be there to always show us the way. And for all this, Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we glorify you. You have protected us and you have guarded us to the night. You have given us this time to spend with you. You have woken us up this morning and you have given us good health of mind and body. And for all this, Lord, for your love, for your mercy, for your generosity, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. You are a merciful God. You have blessed us in so many ways. As you reflect on our blessings, as you reflect on all the good things that have happened to us, as we reflect on our experiences, Lord, we want to thank you. We want to praise you for making us better individuals. And now, my dear friends, let us spend a few moments in silence and let us reflect on the psalm. Let us see what touched us. Could be a word, could be a phrase, or could be a sentence or a thought. Remain with that and allow the psalm to take root in you so that ultimately your words, your actions will radiate the love, peace and joy of Christ to the world around.
O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of February. For the terminally ill, we pray that those with a terminal illness and their families receive the necessary physical and spiritual care and accompaniment. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for priests. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them, we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. 
we ask this through Jesus Christ who lives and reigns as our eternal priest amen the breastplate of saint patrick i arise today through a mighty strength the invocation of the trinity through a belief in the threeness through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation Christ with me Christ before me Christ behind me Christ in me Christ beneath me Christ above me Christ on my right Christ on my left Christ when I lie down Christ when I sit down Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me Christ in the eye that sees me Christ in the ear that hears me Amen The Angelus The angel of the Lord declared to Mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done to me according to thy word hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray Pour forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same christ our lord amen pray for saint joseph's protection o saint joseph whose protection is so great so prompt so strong before the throne of god i place in you all my interests and desires o saint joseph do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our lord so that having engaged here below your heavenly power i may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers O Saint Joseph I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him 
to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions at work, who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children who lighten our moments with delight, for the unborn who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day, for life, and one more day to love, for opportunity, and one more day to work for justice and peace, for neighbors, and one more person to love, and by whom be loved, for your grace and one more experience of your presence, for your promise to be with us, to be our God, and to give salvation. For these and all blessings, we give you thanks, eternal loving God. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Prayer to the Garden Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, rule and guide. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen litany to mary the loreto litany lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ hear us christ graciously hear us god the father of heaven have mercy on us god the son redeemer of the world have mercy on us god the holy spirit have mercy on us holy trinity one god have mercy on us holy mary pray for us holy mother of god pray for us holy virgin of virgins pray for us mother of christ pray for us mother of the church pray for us mother of mercy pray for us mother of divine grace pray for us mother of hope pray for us mother most pure pray for us mother most chaste pray for us mother inviolate pray for us mother undefiled pray for us mother most amiable pray for us mother admirable pray for us mother of good counsel pray for us mother of our creator pray for us mother of our savior pray for us virgin most prudent pray for us virgin most venerable pray for us virgin most renowned pray for us virgin most powerful pray for us virgin most merciful pray for us virgin most faithful pray for us mirror of justice pray for us seat of wisdom pray for us cause of our joy pray for us spiritual vessel pray for us vessel of honor pray for us singular vessel of devotion pray for us mystical rose pray for us star of david pray for us star of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us solace of migrants pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us help of christians pray for us queen of angels pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us 
Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Queen of families, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech Thee, O Lord God, that we, Your servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Act of Adoration O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude Prayer for Souls in Purgatory Eternal Father, I offer Thee the most precious blood of Thy Divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the Universal Church, those in my own home, and within my family. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.